Hi there. My name's Terry, and I'm with Puddle Jumping Blog. And today I'm going to review two books that I'm very excited about from the, as part of the Old School House Magazine Homeschool Review Crew. And um, I'm so excited about these. A few years ago, my daughter and I had the privilege of reviewing book one and two, and um, she was so excited about them because. She's an elephant lover, and they both involved elephants. There was one about the creation of time and one about Noah's Ark, and now we have book three and four in the series, and I get to tell you about these. So let me tell you what the secret is about the Hidden Scrolls. So I'm so excited. I just got this package today from Worthy Publishing. We're going to do a little unboxing here. Should be books. Yay! Okay, so I had reviewed a book um, that was the first in this series last year. These are books that are intended for ages 6 to 9, reading levels grades 1 to through three and I had done a review on this one and so I was very excited to see the rest of the series with book three and book four that I get to review and I cannot wait to dig into these so there they are First, I want to tell you about the author. His name is Mike Thomas, or as he goes by on the book as MJ Thomas. He is a graduate of Liberty University with a bachelor's degree in Bible studies. And he just wanted to tell his little boy Bible stories that would make his little boy interested and engaged, like um, excited about Bible stories. But he couldn't find any. He couldn't find any that he really, really hit the nail on the head. So he wrote his own. He became an author. And that's where The Secret of the Hidden Scrolls comes from. So he eventually took Peter and put him in the story as one of the characters. And then he used his dog Hank. And he's also a character. And then he used the name of his niece Mary as the girl as so there's a girl and a boy and a dog and so this so what exactly are these scrolls and why are they so secret well the kids discover them in the house of their old uncle solomon when they go to stay with him and they think they're just a bunch of dusty old scrolls from solomon who was an archaeologist and um later we discover in jericho's story that he also used to be a spy, so there's a little bit of a foreshadowing there, a little espionage fun. So when they find these scrolls, the scrolls end up being special, and they have the ability to take these children back into time so they can experience biblical events in the past. And then to come back to the future, they have to, the children have to come up with the secret message and the lesson that is learned from the scroll before they can come back into the present time. So here's the big thing. The scrolls contain the truth you seek. Break the seal and roll the scroll and you will see the past unfold. Amazing adventures are in store for those who follow the lion's roar. So these books are intended for kids about age six to nine at a reading level of grades one to three. Now, my daughter's older than this and she reads at a higher level, but I have to tell you that she was pretty psyched and pretty excited. And when she saw that we had book three and four of the series that she had already reviewed a few years ago. She was so happy and um, she sat in the car and read this entire book to me 
while we waited for my daughter to get done with choir one day. And she had so much fun um, giving each character in the book a different voice of her own. And I wish I could share that with you, but um, I <laughs> she doesn't really want to be on camera. So um, you just have to take my word for it. It was really fun. So each book has about 12 chapters. The Jericho one has 13. And each chapter is, I don't know, between maybe 8 to 10 pages long, roughly. It looks like one of them's a little longer. But the word size is appropriate for children about 6 to 9, grades 1 to 3. And the pictures in this book we found were just perfect because they weren't over the top, elaborate, with color. They left something to the imagination, but they were enough to provide my visual loving child with enough of a picture of what was going on that she didn't have to imagine every last detail. I, I, I found them to be the perfect amount of pictures and the perfect style of imagery without going overboard just telling the entire story through pictures. And the size of the words made it very nice and pleasant to read and wasn't difficult, tiny, or too huge and kid-like. It was perfect size words, perfect layout, wonderful pictures throughout. Here's the pictures in this one. Really nice. Really nice. Now this one focuses on Rahab. And it um, takes you through the story of the wall and Jericho, the Ark of the Covenant. And um, this one is about the great escape, and it takes you through the plagues um, with the Pharaoh and Moses and the parting of the Red Sea. And there's a secret that the kids have to uncover to finish the words in the scroll to get back to the present time. I won't give away the secret of that, but that is the secret of the Hidden Scrolls, and they learn a lesson. What I really also liked about this was at the end of the book, it's not just a story, but you can discuss with your kids the actual Bible verse. They have the actual account of what they covered in the story with the Bible verses, and then special little notes in this one. And in this one as well. They have the chapters that it's found in Joshua and this one doesn't have the special little notes like the other one but it has the um, passages that you can go back and read with your child so they can see the actual biblical wording and scripture and they can follow along with what they just went through with their adventure in the books. My daughter and I are going to highly recommend these books to any child who wants to learn more about the stories that they're hearing about in Sunday school or reading about on their own in the Bible. Um, but it makes you feel as though you were there happening with them and it is recommended for ages six to nine but honestly we enjoyed them I enjoyed them and my daughter is a little older than nine and she found them very pleasant and fun to read she actually told me when it was when she was done reading it to me that she actually enjoyed it which is big for her because she's not a huge lover of reading so there you have it.